Checking in with Corn's Crops. In the wise words of the prophet DJ Khaled, they don't want you to succeed. I got a text message a couple days ago from my property manager on behest of my landlord, chastising me for having my parsley and other plants outside on the ledge. Apparently I'm not allowed to. Just when they were starting to do well too, all this sun was finally giving me enough parsley here so I could have a decent salad. Yeah, so back indoors it goes. This arugula over here is looking quite stringy, but that is because I have been eating quite well from it. And it's, uh, it's time has come and gone, so thank you, arugula. I'm gonna be bringing you back next season. Basil as well, starting to do quite well. I've been eating from it too, so you're promising. You're promising. You, uh, you could very likely be back next season too. And now, finally, it's time to take an end to this rather miserable bean plant. Oh boy. Ah. Eh, one more. It had three pods in it. Only one has come to fruition. So five tiny mini beans have come out of it. You won't be back next season. We tried, but I appreciate the effort. It's time for a new covering for this ironing board. It looks like bloody murder on here between that and all the stains and grime. Ugh. The way this one is made is that they've done it up in two layers. There's this thicker top one, which has some sponge and then this felty material. And then an elastic around the outside, which is supposed to pull it taut, but, well. And then underneath is a second layer. And this one is tightened using a string. Undo that. And so that's a cloth layer and then a really thin layer of foam underneath. So I'm gonna put that aside too. I'm gonna need this piece to start. Oh boy. I picked up this real basic white fabric, cotton-like stuff at the thrift store. And this is gonna be the top of it. Pin it down so that way I can trace around the outside. I'm not just gonna trace it over directly though. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because I'm going to combine these two pieces, that top and this protective layer, whatever you wanna call it underneath, into one. And so it's gonna be a little bit thicker, which means I need a little bit more fabric for it to reach around and underneath. Straight part, I can use my ruler. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also put a layer of felt. In fact, I'm gonna put two layers of felt. Then I'm going to lay this on top. Where is the... Uh, Oh, over here, okay. And then from here, I'm just gonna trim this whole lot out. Keep this, the felt I am done with. Fold that over and then a third time like that. And so I need a long, I need long thin rectangles which are going to be used for the drawstring. Draw the line for the one side. 
If I fold that over double plus fold it, you know what, let's go a little bit more. Two and a half inches is what I'm gonna make this drawstring. I'm gonna give myself plenty of fabric to work with. Draw a line for this side too. Now, snippity snip, 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 snip. So let me grab two of these. So because these are multiple sections, I do need to combine them together so that they make one long, thin drawstring container, or whatever you call it. Oh. Seeing as I don't have an ironing board to work with this week, improvising a little bit. And now, there's the other one. Did I do these in opposite directions? Oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh well, this isn't a big one to fix. I'm gonna completely prepare this drawstring. So first, just folding it in half here, and then open this fold up, and then fold each side inwards one more time. Maybe I hit that fast forward button. Editing Cornelius? Jams? Yes? No? Maybe? What kind of a mood are you in? You gonna be nice to me? You gonna tease me, huh? This week, I think we need the love. Here you go, buddy. Now back to this main body piece here, and I'm gonna serger together these three layers. And so the reason for sergering all this together, A, it bundles it together, but also it'll help thin it out a little bit along the edges so I can sew on top of there a bit nicer. This felt is quite malleable and so it makes it difficult to sew finding that I kind of have to feed it through by hand okay so one two and three put this in through here like that and then put this over and that over a couple stitches to get started closed okay it's going to be slow going on the start here as I get comfortable with what I'm doing okay uh, maybe another song Boom, drawstring is on. One last thing, that felt adds a nice softness to it for the ironing, but there's this graded material underneath that you'll see that even with the felt I'm gonna feel. So I did get this real foam-like substance. Foam, but it's also kind of got a rubberiness to it and a grippiness. And so that's gonna be the bed. So, trace that out. Bada boom, bada bing, and Bob's your uncle. This is it, the real test. Does this actually work? So I'm gonna lie this sponge-like fabric 
straight down on top. Lie this on top. Start pulling on these babies. All right, come on, over the edge you go. Over the edge. There we go, yeah, underneath, come on. Underneath. Come on, string. Should have maybe gone with something a little more heavy duty. I've decided that I'm not done after all. This is the old one on top here, and it had these elastics with these clips for underneath, and putting mine on, it seems like that's a good idea. I did buy some elastic just in case, and it has turned out to be handy. I have pre-cut them, pinned them in place, so. So I fumbled around once more to get the cover on just right, and voila, my new ironing board cover. Check it in with Corn's Crops. All right. These tomato plants though, I think they've sort of reached their limit. The containers are so small that they aren't really gonna be growing much more. I'm just gonna see them through to the end of their life. Should there, the off chance, be even just one yellow little flower that comes out, I'll be satisfied. I have to go see my mom this weekend. She needs help with her tomato plants actually. She sent me a photo it's not even a competition. There's levels to this game. And the reason I'm going is I have to build this rack because they're so massive and they're just crumbling down upon themselves. They need something to sit on. Whew. So me and my girls, you know what? We're just gonna see them through. We're gonna see each other through till the end. Yeah. You know, I guess in your own twiggy sort of way, you know, like me. You got your beauty, you know, something at least.